Hello there folks, here we are again, February 28th, 2016. And I'm just going to show you the setup here for uh, the Neo X8H Plus again. As you can see here, I've got two of them. One on top of the other, testing. I've got a terabit drive hooked up, but that's another episode. Okay, so one thing I'd like to do, keep everything current. And show you how to run things as you see here i'm on uh there you go there's my network rusty bed springs of course so we're on wi-fi um one thing you want to do when you get this box hook it up on wi-fi of course you're going to want to turn off the hdmi auto detection and you're going to want to set it to what you have if you got 720 set it for 720 if you got 1080 set it for 1080 if you've got uh, 4k set it for 4k and that doesn't show up because we don't have that TV. If we had the TV, the output modes would show up because this is 4K compatible. But I don't have a 4K. Um, hide status bar, yes. And a lot of people don't know about this display position. So once you've got your HDMI output setting, if you look on the outside of my TV, I have that little white line. I'll pull it back here. And if you notice when I go bigger, it's gone so you just want to pull it back to where you see it on all four corners and nothing ever hides and some people have to take it to 92 i've heard so there's that part okay next you always want to make sure that your box is updated i know it's a little bright here so you can either access it through here and if you see here january 14th 2016 most recent you can always go here and you could try system update from here it's going to ask you to check you're going to check for updates and it's updated if there's something there it'll tell you now more settings is the same thing see that there's all your settings there i'm going to take you out of this quickly more settings is the same thing as what you see down here in the corner this little bolt or a gear, sorry, this little gear. It's your settings again, so you can click that. That's your Wi-Fi, all your other stuff. Now, you can make this a portable hotspot if it's hot, if it's hardwired. You can do that here, portable hotspot. You know, once you, once you, if you've got it hardwired, they make great portable hotspots for those uh, bad spots that don't have great signal in your house. Not sure if a lot of you knew about that. The reason I bring you here is a lot of people don't realize that you can slow down your mouse speed. You go to language and input, you're going to go all the way down out of the box. Um, your mouse pointer speed is set almost by the OK. I like to bring it down to just right around where the C is. So if you ever use an air mouse, it doesn't fly around the screen. And a lot of times your time is not right so your date and time when you get it you're going to turn that off so that you could change your time zones or so you can keep that on if you want um you're gonna have to change your time zone to the appropriate usually it comes at plus eight so i'm in the mountain time um that's about it for that so just like an Android phone as well, right? If you want to drag and drop things on your menus, you use your finger or your, just like a mouse, you would go here, vice versa, you know. Um, in your settings, you have more. So say you wanted to put this icon or that icon on your screen, you would click it with your mouse and then you would drag it over to the appropriate screen. I don't want to do that, so we're going to try and get it back into... Uh, we can always remove it. Now, if you put something that you don't like, again, just like your Android phone, you can remove. Now, that only removes it from the screen and not your menu. To get it out of your menu, you have to remove it from here. Sorry, for po uh, it's hard to point and direct at the same time. So, I'm just going to use my directional pad that navigates a lot better. We're going to do a quick speed test here on Wi-Fi. Oh, nice shadow of me. And I've, 
I've been known to seeing 45 plus on the down and 10 plus on the up. Let's see what this does for us. So I'm getting 46 down and four up average, which isn't bad for a media box. On Wi-Fi, um, I get better results sometimes on Wi-Fi than I do on wired, believe it or not, but I got a kick-ass uh, router. There you be, folks. Now, I, you didn't see the screen load up, but I just loaded up my other one. This is the previous version of um, Cody. And see, there you go. The newer version of Cody is out. Have you upgraded yet? Blah, blah, yada, yada. You can read that out. I'll keep it on there. You don't need to hear my voice. But I got Jarvis. And we'll show you what the... So this was compiled in August. I had 15.1 on there. Some of my other stuff has 15.2. Um, yeah. So now we're going to make this second X8 into a Jarvis holder.